the Royal Netherlands Navy reached a significant milestone on October 1, 2025, with the commissioning of ZR.MS Den Helder, the first new Dutch warship in over a decade. This event marks not only the addition of a modern combat support vessel to the fleet but also the beginning of an ambitious program to modernize the Dutch naval forces. Built at Damon Shipyards in Romania, ZR.MS Den Helder embodies both strategic foresight and operational versatility, addressing a long-standing gap in the fleet's replenishment capabilities while reinforcing the Netherlands' commitment to NATO and international maritime security. The ship's construction, delivery, and commissioning highlight the careful planning, industrial collaboration, and technological investment that have shaped its development. The vessel represents a clear evolution in Dutch naval design. Measuring 179.5 meters in length, with a beam of 26.4 meters and a full load displacement of approximately 22,600 tons, ZR DMS Den Helder is capable of supporting extensive naval operations at sea. Its propulsion system, composed of four Wurzela W31 diesel generators and two General Electric electric motors, is complemented by bow and stern thrusters, enabling speeds between 18 and 20 knots while maintaining precise maneuverability. These specifications provide the ship with the operational flexibility required to perform both sustained replenishment missions and specialized support tasks, including aviation operations and medical evacuations. The vessel's internal design emphasizes efficiency and habitability, accommodating 76 crew members with space for an additional 80 personnel, including embarked forces or aviation teams. This enhanced internal layout marks a notable improvement over previous replenishment ships and reflects a broader trend toward multifunctional naval platforms. Central to ZR.MS Den Helder's role is its replenishment capability, which is critical for sustaining naval task groups on extended deployments. The ship can carry 7,600 cubic meters of marine diesel fuel, 1,000 cubic meters of helicopter fuel, 226 cubic meters of drinking water, and 434 tons of dry goods, including ammunition and spare parts. Equipped with two 40-ton cranes, a stores crane, and dual replenishment at sea masts, the vessel can simultaneously supply fuel and supplies to two ships, maintaining the operational readiness of multiple combatants within a task force. Its design allows support for up to six vessels in a task group during prolonged operations, even in challenging weather conditions. In addition, the ship can carry 20 to 24 standard containers, providing logistical flexibility for a range of mission-specific requirements. This capability not only strengthens Dutch naval autonomy but also reinforces NATO's logistical depth, ensuring the alliance can sustain forward operations in distant theaters. Beyond logistics, ZR.MS Den Helder incorporates robust medical and aviation facilities. The onboard medical facility is classified as a Role 2 capability, allowing for surgical procedures and inpatient care. This dual-function design ensures the ship can support both operational and humanitarian missions, providing medical assistance in combat scenarios, disaster relief operations, or other crisis situations. The aviation deck and hangar can host two NH-90 maritime helicopters or a combination of a helicopter and unmanned aerial vehicles, enabling casualty evacuation, reconnaissance, and logistical support. Complementing these capabilities, the ship is equipped with boat facilities for two landing craft vehicle personnel and two fast rating intercepting special forces craft, which extend operational reach for amphibious and rapid response operations. ZR.MS Den Helder's defensive systems are currently optimized for self-protection. These include Leonardo Lionfish remote-controlled weapon stations, 7.62mm MAG machine guns, and Dillon 7.62mm miniguns, supported by Kelvin Hughes navigation radars, Thales UK electronic support measures, and the Thales NS-106 radar for situational awareness. The Navy has plans to progressively enhance the vessel's armament with a Leonardo 7662 Sauverpont gun, a RIM-116 rolling airframe missile launcher, and Thales Ferros fire control radar.
Budgetary limitations delayed the immediate installation of these upgrades, but they are scheduled for integration before 2028, starting with the main gun and RAM system during the first maintenance cycle. This phased approach balances fiscal constraints with the necessity of maintaining credible defensive and deterrence capabilities. The commissioning ceremony of ZR.MS, Den Helder reflected Dutch naval traditions and emphasized the ship's connection to its namesake city, Den Helder, home to the principal Dutch naval base. The vessel received its formal designation, Zinner Majestites, and the traditional war pennant was hoisted to signify its status as an active naval asset. Attendees included senior naval leadership, municipal officials, and Princess Amalia, who had christened the ship earlier in February 2025. Captain Lieutenant Stefjan Veenstra, the ship's commanding officer, was presented with the Naval Bible in a ceremonial gesture symbolizing continuity with centuries of Dutch maritime heritage. The event underscored both national pride and the strategic importance of integrating new assets into the fleet. Operationally, ZR.MS Den Helder has already demonstrated its readiness. In September 2025, before formal commissioning, the vessel participated in escort operations for a Russian frigate in the North Sea, signaling that its systems were sufficiently tested to undertake practical tasks. This early deployment provided valuable experience for the crew in logistics, navigation, and operational coordination. Moving forward, the ship will undergo a series of trials and missions, including warm weather trials in the Caribbean, degaussing in Norfolk, and a visit to New York, before returning to the Netherlands for the installation of additional systems. Full operational readiness is expected by 2026, at which point ZR.MS Den Helder will be fully integrated into Dutch and NATO maritime operations. The introduction of ZR.MS Den Helder addresses a gap left by the retirement of previous Dutch replenishment ships, ZR.MS Zuiderkruis and ZR.MS Amsterdam. In the interim, the multi-role ZR.MS Corel Doorman provided partial replenishment capability, but it was not designed to fully replace dedicated supply vessels. By restoring the Netherlands' capacity to operate two replenishment ships simultaneously, the Navy strengthens its operational endurance and resilience. This capability is particularly critical for NATO, as replenishment ships are central to sustaining forward deployed forces in prolonged or high-intensity operations, ensuring logistical support is available regardless of geographic or environmental challenges. ZR.MS Den Helder also represents a significant industrial achievement. Damon Shipyards coordinated the construction, engaging more than a hundred Dutch subcontractors and ensuring meaningful domestic participation. The program's cost, originally estimated at approximately 374 million euros, ultimately exceeded 400 million euros, reflecting both design complexity and inflationary factors. Beyond its financial scale, the project highlights the importance of international collaboration, as construction in Romania leveraged specialized expertise while maintaining Dutch oversight and standards. The vessel exemplifies the integration of national industrial capability with global shipbuilding practices to deliver modern, operationally ready assets. Looking ahead, ZR.MS Den Helder is the first milestone in a broader Dutch fleet renewal program, which will introduce new anti-submarine warfare frigates, mine countermeasure vessels, and submarines by 2030. This modernization strategy aligns with the Netherlands' strategic priorities, strengthening NATO interoperability, enhancing operational readiness, and maintaining the ability to project naval influence in both regional and global contexts. The commissioning of ZR.MS Den Helder, therefore, is not merely a ceremonial event but a tangible step in a long-term plan to ensure the Dutch Navy remains capable, adaptable, and technologically advanced amid evolving maritime threats. In conclusion, ZR.MS Den Helder exemplifies the intersection of tradition, innovation, and strategic foresight. Its combination of replenishment, aviation, and medical capabilities positions it as a versatile platform capable of supporting a wide spectrum of naval missions.
By restoring the Netherlands' dual replenishment capacity and reinforcing NATO logistics, the ship significantly enhances operational flexibility and readiness. Beyond its technical features, the vessel symbolizes a renewed national commitment to maritime defense and international partnership. As it embarks on operational trials and integrates advanced systems, ZER.MS, Dan Helder sets a new benchmark for modern naval support vessels, heralding a new era for the Royal Netherlands Navy and strengthening its role on the global stage.